have the annotate tab along the top. So click that and you'll see there are a number of options. We've got dimensions and we've also got text. So we're just going to do some text first. Now I'm going to click on that. We've got the little save project thing popping up. And I'm just going to click by there and then write kitchen. But press and then just click off it when you're done and it's ready to do the next bit of text. But here's a little thing. You might think, well, is that writing too small? Well, what you want to double check is what the scale of this view is. And is that the scale that you want to print out the drawing at? So earlier on, we set it to 1 to 20 to make it a bit easier to see something else. But now we've done those drawing elements, I'm going to change it to the scale that I actually want to be drawing, printing at. So I'm going to change it to 1 to 50. Now notice how it automatically resizes all the writing to an appropriate size to match the scale. Now we're using three and a half millimeter aerial. We could change that if we wish. Okay, so for example, let's just click on the kitchen and rather than three and a half, maybe we want that to be five millimeters. OK, so that stands out as being a bit bigger than the other writing. Let's now just add a few extra and I will change this to five millimeter to start with. And we can see we can line it up with the other writing by there, getting that blue dashed line. So I'll just call this lining. And then we'll just go down here and do the lounge. you see and that's our room names done now 